Bangladesh has garment of more than 15 million meters of linen fabric. However, until now, linen is not produced in Bangladesh. Recently, China government has decided not to increase textile business and last year, they shut down a lot of dyeing factories. Therefore, Chinese businessmen want to shift the business from China to Bangladesh. In this continuation, Huaren Linen Group is beginning dyeing production in Bangladesh from the end of this year or from the beginning of the next year. Chinese company Huaren Linen Group is going to invest in Bangladesh jointly with Anwar Group, one of the veterans and oldest company of Bangladesh for linen fabric dyeing and finishing. We have to find a good partner in Bangladesh to can help us for dyeing. So last two years I worked on that and a lot of things back and forth after a lot of back and forth finally we decided and we already signed the agreement uh, almost eight months back with Mr. Mahal sir, Hussain sir, so if I'm all good. Then uh, we are on the way to finalize everything. Warren Linen Group, starting from Harbin City, the hometown of China's modern linen industry is a large vertically set up linen supplier including spinning, yarn dyeing, greggy goods, weaving and finishing for yarn dyed fabric. They were exporting fabric from China to Bangladesh. Anwar Group is one of the renowned groups in Bangladesh started in 1834. They have spinning, weaving and processing units. They are doing two types of weaving, tear towels and kitchen towels, also the fashion related fabrics. Many Chinese companies want to expand their business in Bangladesh, who are thinking and trying to invest in Bangladesh can come up with any existing company in Bangladesh to invest like Warren Linen Group. Before starting the event, we have also worked out the physics. Definitely, every work has to keep a TNA. So, we had a plan first to set up a manager office, then dyeing, then garment, then spinning, weaving. So, our office already done, dyeing project already done, garment project also done. So as soon as possible, we'll open it, uh, try to start our screening, then we can. So as I said before to you, like when you start all these things, nobody complains. For the dyeing of linen fabric, special machines are required. Those are unavailable in Bangladesh. Warren Linen Group and Anwar Group have come to a decision that they will buy some machines for dyeing. First of things, technical support. We'll send our technical team to their factory, to their mill. So they will stay and they will uh, teach the people. Teach the people means all the other people. So how to make linen properly, how to tie the linen properly. And beside of this, we'll share with them our, all the recipes and all the chemicals like uh, for the linen dyes, what kind of technical things need to do, what kind of chemical to use, we'll share with them. So this, uh, we set up the machines and other stamps of conditions, we'll give them support. Main thing is technical support. The people are importing the fabric and exporting to different countries. Or stores so they get it from the local market local manufacturer I'm sure they'll be happy they'll be able to satisfy their customers because of the deep time the quality issues you can easily handle our main target was to get this opportunity the project could be helpful for transformation 
because it is building a supply chain, making the process easier for the garment factories. It is very much appreciated that Wool and Linen and Anwar Group is producing something that is going to serve the demand not only in Bangladesh but also in the region. It is a good learning for the other companies also. Once more, it is another value-added products.